Hey guys, Josiah here with easycaters.com and uh, I had a request for a video to uh, show how the bid ask and last lines behave on a live chart uh, and on a smaller time frame. So I just thought I'd do this quick video to display that and kind of go through the settings. So you can see here I've got the bid and the ask um, showing on a five minute chart and I'm looking at ATVI this morning. Um, if I right click and go into edit study settings here, so you can kind of keep an eye on how it's behaving back here and you can see how the um, ladder, the depth of market here is showing. Um, <clears throat> but I'll just go through these settings real quick. So you've got your line length so you can specify how many bars this line spans. Uh, right now you'll notice that I have the last line off. You can uh, turn any of these lines on or off as needed by checking or unchecking the show plot box uh, here in the plot sub panel. Uh, just check that box and hit apply and it will appear or disappear as needed. And then um, so you can do that for any of the lines. Um, we also have a uh, spread label that comes with this indicator. And if I hit apply and turn that on, you can see that the spread, the current spread appears up here in the label. And so you can customize this to highlight different colors as the spread gets wider or narrower. Um, and you can set those thresholds uh, right here. So there's two different methods for choosing the threshold. You can either do it automatically with the ATR. So what that does is essentially takes the average bar range and says, okay, if we're at a large percent of that bar, then that's unusual. That's the spread is high. If we're at a small percent of that average bar, then, um, then that's a low spread. And so it's a little more responsive to the current price action in that way. Uh, whereas if you choose manual mode, then you can specify a certain dollar amount here, and then the percentages will be based on that dollar amount. So you can say, you know, 1.0 would be 100%. Um, and so it's say, you know, if it, the spread is a dollar, then that would be um, uh, a, a wide spread. And if it's 25 cents, then it's a minor spread and below 10 cents, it would be a low spread and so forth. So you can do uh, percentages of this manually specified amount or percentages of the ATR amount. So that's how that works in the ATR. You can set the settings for that here uh, and the price that goes into that ATR and then um, uh, then we have an alert that you can turn off, turn on or off here. Anytime it reaches an extreme spread, then it can chime at you, uh, just as a warning. Um, and some of these other settings, so we can show a cloud or a shaded area between the bid and the ask. Some people like that, some people don't. So, uh, but it's an option there if you if you want it. And you can see that's shaded gray right now. Uh, we can turn the last price on to show where that. How that looks. Um, so the last price will um, change colors dynamically as uh, the price action uh, changes. And give it a second here to refresh since the video is kind of slowing things down here. So you can see here the last price sometimes is between the bid and the ask, and some sometimes it's at the bid and the ask. And so whenever it's at um, the bid, it'll color one color. Whenever it's at the ask, it'll cover, color a different color. And it'll just kind of indicate to you, kind of highlight that line and show you uh, that we just had a trade go off at that price or whatever. So if I go back in here, you can see, so you can set the, the colors for each of the lines and the line styles and everything, the bid and the ask and the last line. The last line is dynamically set. So to adjust the colors that it dynamically assigns to that line, you go down here into the um, global settings and you can change what these three colors are here. And then the colors for the label, you can specify those here. And then the cloud or the shaded area between the bid and the ask, you can specify the color for that here. So that's how that works. And hopefully you've been uh, watching behind uh, the settings panel here as the bid and the ask lines update uh, on the live chart here. This is, uh, 8.39 or excuse me, 9.39 a.m. Eastern time and the market's just open. So I'm going to get back to trading here, but I uh, just thought I'd do this quick video and uh, show you how that works.
And if you have any questions, always feel free to uh, visit the website at easycaters.com and click contact, send us an email that way. And I'm usually pretty responsive to that. Uh, I appreciate it and talk to you next time. Thanks.